Yeah, I mean, one scenario I've looked at extensively, Daniela, and I think there's a lot of possibility is if we get hyper Bitcoinization and, you know, some kind of global, you know, I mean, really serious inflation. I know they lie about inflation now and really inflation is at 10 or 12 percent, even though they say it's two or three. But I mean, if we get proper, you know, hyper Bitcoinization, a rush out of fiat money, the one thing central banks do actually have is gold. Thing of. So maybe, you know, maybe that's where gold suddenly finds its utility again and that central banks start using it to back their currency in order to, to, to protect their nation's currencies. And that, that is an argument that gold bugs will bring up. Why are the central banks not buying cryptocurrencies or are they? We don't know about it. But why are they still choosing gold over crypto? Because I'm not sure central banks are buying as much gold as they were five or 10 years ago. But like I'm 51. I was born in 1969. And when I used to go to gold conferences um, back in the noughties and early part of the of, of the, the the next decade, the 2010s, I would be the youngest person there. <laughs> and when I go to um, right. cryptocurrencies, I would be the oldest person there. Right. So 1969, 70, I see that as the sort of crossover point. And I think one of the reasons central banks don't buy cryptocurrencies is that they're all run by people in their 60s and 70s. They don't get it. Ultimately, Daniela, the central banks tend to be run by people by people who are largely statist in their mentality. And statists tend not to like gold or Bitcoin. 